Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I will be doing a fall tablescape in my formal dining room area. My last tablescape, you guys really seem to enjoy that. So I decided to do another one for you. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it for you up in the cards or down below in the description box. But before we jump into this video, I would like you guys to hit that subscribe button. Once you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so you won't miss any of my uploads. I would love, love, love to have you a part of our YouTube channel. So now let's get into the video. You guys know me, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know I have to clean before I start decorating. So now that we have finished cleaning, let's start decorating. I want to give you guys a quick look at some of the items that I'm going to be using in this glam tablescape. On this tablescape, I will be using paper and plastic dinnerware. If you've been on my channel for a while, you do know that I incorporate paper or plastic sometimes in my tablescapes. I just find it is a very inexpensive way to create different looks.
for this tablescape, I wanted to create a glam look because it is in my formal dining room. So I'm using a different array of pumpkins. Some came from Ross and some came from Burlington. I added that orange and silver one just to give it a pop of color. And later on, you're gonna see me use a array of candle holders that I got from the thrift store. This one here and the other one that I'm gonna place on the table next came from my local thrift store and it, they were like 97 cents. And I was so excited when I found these. And later I'm gonna be placing some other candle holders that I got from another thrift store. I got those like last year and I know they were less than $3. They might have been like $2.99. I don't even think they were that much, guys. And here they are. And like I said, I got them last year and I just thought they would go perfect on this tablescape. Guys, this is the completed look. And as always, I love, love, love it. I hope you guys love it also. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be giving you an overview of the completed look. And I didn't go over my napkin rings. These are some napkin rings that I got from Dollar Tree. And I just used some napkins, monogram napkins that I already had. I really think these napkin rings are for the winter or Christmas season, but I decided to incorporate them in this fall look. This is an arrangement that I created using a Z Gallery flower arrangement and that vase I already had. I think I got it from Ross or um, Burlington. Then I have my decorative box and a little pine cone and a pumpkin. And yeah, I'm just giving you guys an overview of the completed look. I really do like how this look came out, guys. And I just love how I incorporated the different types of pumpkins. Um, some of them are more glam than others. Some of them are, you know, are different textures and sizes. But I do think they all really go cohesively together and i just love the different sizes of candle holders and i forgot to show you guys the other candle holders that are on, on the other side of the arrangement and i give you guys a close look at that and the little candle holders that i got from the dollar tree are also really really cute so guys, if you enjoyed this video and if you like how everything came out, give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below what's your favorite thing about this tablescape. And yeah, I'm just going to give you guys one last overview of the complete look. Don't forget to like, comment, share, but most of all, please subscribe. I would love to have you guys a part of our YouTube family. And this is another look at my buffet table, which also came from the thrift store and it was only $25. Yes, $25. And here are some more candle holders. And yeah, guys, I really love how this look came out. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.